So, I'm going to jump right into the fact as to why CNN is the one who financed the great big story and why they decided to cut cut the great big story by shutting it down. The AT and T owned an up operation owned news operations is shutting down Great Big Story, a streaming video hub that launched in 2015 to some attention and was billed as a way for CNN to reach a younger generation, increasingly turning to short form video delivered via broadband and mobile to get its news and information. For some, Great Big Story represented a way to compete with upstarts like Vice or BuzzFeed, digital bootstrappers who were making roads in the mainstream news cycle of stories and videos that appealed to millennial consumers. Challenging times call for difficult decisions, and it is with a heavy heart that we are announcing today that we will be closing the doors of Great Big Story, the unit said in a statement Wednesday. The decision, the decision was driven in large part by economic conditions spurred by the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. According to a person familiar with the matter, as executives considered the future of business, they felt they had to give more priority to other parts of CNN, this person said. As many as 30 positions could be affected. This isn't the first time CNN has made a big bet on digital that didn't blossom as executives have hoped. In 2018, CNN parted ways with YouTube influencer Casey Neistat after it had purchased its social media venture being after the company tried to launch a digital news operation that would use it as a base to reach younger viewers. And I know that CNN had to uh, sacrifice their earnings. They sh definitely should have made the great big story an independent. I just don't know why <clears throat> CNN. And you know what? I kind of agree with Shank Yoger. When I saw this tweet, because. That's definitely another disappointing one in the books for for 2020, and frankly, CNN, the one who funded the Great Big Story, should have made the company once again an independent. Just saying, they should have. Let the great big story continue making stories as an independent. If they were to cut the funding of the great big story, they could have made it, you know, a separate entity, and they choose not to.